Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Elder Scrolls Online discussion. In today's video, I want to talk with you a little bit about dungeons. In fact, I've got a little story to tell you about how dungeons in ESO are a troll's paradise. So, uh, I was, we had some bugs, we've had a few bugs over the past few days, but there was basically a bug that stopped me from progressing in an area of the game that I really needed to progress in. So for that reason, I decided, well, let's just take a break from leveling. Why don't we just run a few dungeons? And just to clarify here, we're talking about the traditional MMO dungeons where you go in with a group of four or five or six, you know, depending on the game itself, but you go in with a sec group, we've got some healer, we got a healer, we got a tank, and we got some DPS. That's, that's the plan. So that's what I was doing. I was doing the, the traditional style of dungeon. And I went into this dungeon, it was a Cold Harbor dungeon, I believe the level range was like, I think like 45 to 48 or something along those lines. Uh, we go in and it's actually going alright, we're having a good time, uh, going through, clearing the trash, killing a boss. Clearing the trash, killing a boss. Now unfortunately enough, the way that loot drops work in dungeons in this particular game is that whenever you kill a boss, you are not guaranteed to get good loot. I mean, there are numerous occasions where I will literally just get a soul shard, a white item, and maybe a potion. So no no green gear, no blue gear, uh, and epic gear, and legendary gear, certainly not. Like, there's times where you basically get nothing off of the bosses. The reason it's important that you know that is because these dungeons are littered with chests. Chests being the ones that you have to open with a lockpick that will at the very least have a green item in them. So the chest actually become a very important part of the loot in dungeons because bosses don't guarantee that you're going to get a decent item drop. Why that is, uh, mind you, I have no idea. It's almost baffling to me that you're not at least guaranteed to get a green item off of a boss, let alone I would like a blue, but so be it. It is what it is. The point is that chests are very important in this game because a lot of times that's where you're going to get most of your loot from a dungeon run. So now with the, that stage set, here's what happened. We were going through and there was a, a person in our group who was looting every single chest. So dirt, we would go into a, we would go into a, a pack, we'd, we'd pull the pack, he would not even fight. He would run past the pack, looking around the corners for chest. After a little bit, I started to notice that he was doing this and he wasn't participating. And I said, dude, first of all, help us. Second of all, would you stop taking all the chests? Like, I, 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 I wasn't aggressive about it. I was just saying, uh, I don't know if you know, but you know, chests are where most of the good loot comes from in this game. So it'd be great if we could share it. And he's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. He didn't listen. He didn't, he did not, he kept skimming the packs, he kept not helping, and he kept looting all of the chests. Now remember, with that stage set, because you're not guaranteed loot off bosses, because there are so many chests that at the very least will give you a green, chests are where most of, most of the loot will come from in a dungeon. There's no automatic roll system. If someone opens a chest, it doesn't roll across the board like it does in World of Warcraft, and everyone gets to roll need or greed or whatever. No, whoever opens the chest gets all those items, and we don't even get to see what he got. So this guy, he was trolling. He was trolling. He wasn't, he wasn't helping and he was just taking all the loot and, and we were just sitting there twiddling our thumbs and there's nothing we could do. So obviously, you know, I'm not just going to get steamrolled over here. I say, all right, I talk to the guy who's a group leader. I say, kick him. Get this guy out of here. He's a, he's a clown. Like, we don't need him in our group. Th that sounds great, right? We'll kick him out of the group. We'll get a replacement. Nope. That's not an option. You kick him out of the group, he's still in the instance. He does not get booted out of the instance. He is still there. He was pulling packs to us, trying to wipe us. We, we're, we're pretty pro though, so we had no problem. But he was pulling packs to us, trying to wipe us. He was still running around in our instance, stealing all of our chest because we have to progress. In order to progress, we have to kill these packs. <laughs> and, and as soon as we engage the packs again, he would just run right by us and he'd go looking for chest. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I had enough of this. I, we can't kick him out. There's nothing we can do. We say, all right, well, at the very least, let's get another guy back in here. Let's get it four men so that we can just clear through this or, or ladies, you know, whatever. Let's get four people in here so we can clear through this quickly and do another run where we don't have to deal with this guy. Can't do it. Because he refused to leave the dungeon because he was trolling, when we invited a fourth person into our group after we kicked him, this guy's still running around, still stealing our chest, trying to wipe us. We invite a fourth person, he comes into, he, he, he tries to zone into the dungeon, first it says error, cannot go into instance. And then he finally gets in the dungeon, he's not in our dungeon. He's not in our instance because there's already four people there and the dungeon says, whoa, 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 whoa. 
You can't have more than four people in here. What are you doing? So, so not only does this guy take all this crap, try to wipe us, but he also makes us that we cannot progress to the dungeon with a full group because he's still hanging out in there. These issues, there's a multitude of them, need to be resolved. This is ridiculous. Dungeons in ESO are a troll's paradise. Let me tell you, if you like getting a rile out of people, if you like being a D-bag, come to ESO, because you can join a group, you can steal all the chests, effectively getting most of the loot from the dungeon run. If they kick you, you can still hang out in there. You can still continue to do what you were doing. You can try to wipe them, and they can't even get a full group to progress through at an effective speed. What a load of crap. There are a few things that I think need to be fixed with dungeons. Number one, if you boot someone from your group, they need to get kicked out of that instance immediately. So, Or at the very least, we need to ha make it so that a fourth person can join. And first, I think there should be some sort of a role system, or I wouldn't mind so much if there's no role system on chest. If we're really going to be getting loot from bosses, now I'm not saying you never get loot, because I have gotten a few epics from some of the bosses, and it does appear like the bosses have a set loot table, because I did multiple runs, and I actually got the same epic item two runs in a row off of a single boss, which leads me to believe it's a set loot table, you've got a chance to get this stuff. But still, mo most of the time, I'd say about 75% of the time, when we kill a boss, I don't even get a green item. So if they made it so that you're at least guaranteed to get a green item, I wouldn't mind so much that the chest wouldn't have to be forced to be rolled on so that you wouldn't have to deal with trolls. And of course, the the, the the final answer to this would be, oh, well, just play with people that you know. But it doesn't always work out that way. And pugs, uh, playing with a group of random people, a pickup group, as it were, is it can be difficult enough as it is. They don't need to make it more difficult by enabling these trolls to just run rampant and completely destroy your run, essentially. So I hope some of this stuff gets resolved. You know, I'm still liking the game, but this is, this is beyond infuriating, this particular problem. Uh, and I hope that they resolve some, if not all, of these issues that I described to you here today. Alright guys, that's gonna do it. Just wanted to let you know how things are going right now for me <laughs> when it comes to dungeon runs in ESL, and just warn you that it is a troll's paradise, so make sure that you're grouping up with people that you trust, that you know, and who aren't D-bags. Alright guys, that's gonna do it. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more ESL and other great gaming coverage right here on the channel. Keep watching and keep owning.